One of the features that we've been building lately is the support for config entities. So to do that, I'm going to do as usual. Um, and there we go. This is API JSON. And instead of that, we have our namespace. All right, this looks better. So uh, if we do, uh, if we access a config entity like, for instance, node type, and we provide an ID of article, we can see that uh, we can have get support for individual configuration entities. And you can see that here you have all of the attributes, the links, etc. So, um, so yeah, uh, obviously you have. Uh, the same support as for content entities with the sparse field sets. You can do fields for node types and say maybe only UID and display submitted hit send and you should only see those two properties. Yay! Um, inside of the the same support we've built collections. So if we do, let me delete this, if we do something like this, uh, we access the resource without an ID, you'll see that you get a response with a list of all of the config entities for that type. In this case, it's the, the article and the basic page. Additionally, as you might expect, uh, you can do filters. You can do something like filter this oops, display submitted value zero. You can see that basic page has false and article has true. So if I add this filter, it should give me a list of only one of only one entity and that should be the page and sure enough we can see that uh, this is listing the page and there is only one one entity that fills the that fits that that filter obviously if we do one here you'll see that uh, we get the the article you can do the this filter in in whatever field that that you have i uh, see that uh, we don't have relationships in in here that is because uh, we don't have entity reference fields inside of uh, configuration entities if we do have a, a use case for relationships inside of config entities uh, we will provide support for that 